Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 4 Chrono, part number 40. We got Auto Club and Texas in this part, and I don't know how we'll do. Based on our car performance, this is 84, 80, and 84, I'm thinking right around 19th to 24th is about where to expect to, to run, which I'm fine with that. So, that's if we can just get that, I'll be okay with, with everything in this part, so... Settings, same as usual, nothing will be changed until I get to 90 uh, across the board, then I'll probably change the tire to normal. But for now, that more effect thing will at least put us a, give us at least a fighting chance on, on some front. So, again, uh, just trying to bake up enough money to get another chassis, which we desperately need short track, but we're not really going to have enough money to get that by Bristol. So, um, yeah, I really am not concerned about making the chase this year or anything of that concern. I mean, just... We're not anywhere close to it. And then once we get uh, that extra chastity, then we'll start focusing on getting the arrow to 85 as well as the uh, pit accuracy at 95 and go from there. I'm hoping future me figures that out or remembers to do that, but you never know with myself. So we'll get in the qualifying here and hopefully we'll uh, start okay. Well, it uh, doesn't really feel fast and we're not even going to be close to getting our goal time. It's almost two seconds off it, damn near. Oh my. <laughs> Well, I guess we could just hope for long run speed today because, yeah, that's not that's not good at all. Oh man, it's it's gonna be one of them races. I thirty first, hooray! We're not we're on the inside line, so um, Noah Gregson, good for him. Vinny Miller is a friend, and Brennan Jen, Brennan Jones, Brennan Jones fucked up. I can't even speak. What is wrong with me? Well, here we. No, I would imagine, like usual, just, uh, you know, we'll hit the end of stage one and two. And we'll see how bad their tires fall off. We got eight laps, and yeah, just about, just about a fuel run. Well, we just don't have speed at all based on qualifying. And, oh, well, I mean, we do got the draft, so maybe that will help us out a little bit. That was actually not too bad of a start. We gained two spots. So I did some uh, racing references with us, uh, look up uh, John Jackson. He is like 55. So what Winboss said about him, him having a midlife crisis, it, it may be true. What a what a champion. Good good for him. But yeah, his face is very shrunken and it's, it really is like a Photoshop gone wrong with him. Well, good for Brendan Jones. Look at him zipping by all of us scrubs. Well, that's that's heartwarming. It's good to know that he's at least faster than Mike Harmon. Damn, I'm getting out straightaway speeded by Mike Harmon. That... <laughs> oh, man, we are just not there. Not there at all on speed. I can't wait to get that chassis in slowly. I did that to myself. Wow. Well, this, this stage is a throwaway one. If anything, in this race, I'm able to pass Maureen Shepard. So, that's good. And it does seem like we will be able to gain some of those spots back that we did lose. And also, I think the tire was really starting to kick into the AI, so... Right around halfway through our fuel run, so that's about five laps. So, that is the goal time frame we need to look at for stage two. For when to expect to, uh, be quick. I almost did it again where I went off the track. What is wrong with me? I don't... I just have to just take my time, and I'll gain spots. But I keep... just... I keep screwing myself. There we go, we'll go to turn three, and perfect. Maybe able to get uh, 33rd here. We're almost going to be back to where we were before uh, I spun out. Would be curious to see if I didn't spin out how much more spots I would have gained. Could I crack the top 30? I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. Well, damn. <laughs> I didn't think we would gain all these spots, but damn, 27th. I'll take it. Considering I spun out, fell back to about a second and a half behind Morgan. This is a big net gain. We'll get by Matt Mills on the outside, no problem. And I guess we'll get 26. I'm I'm totally fine with that, considering how much I fell back. So, if I don't screw up in this stage, we can maybe at least gain some, maybe, position, even more positions. So we'll pit here. We're going to lower the wedge just about half a round down, because it was pretty damn tight, so I'm hoping that will fix that a little bit. I could have honestly put the, the car to 9 all the way loose just because it was just 
still tight, so I don't know. Hopefully that helps it. We'll do all that and put ourselves 26, so. Nothing, nothing was gained or lost, so that's okay. All right, now we just gotta wait five laps and see where, where we kinda shake out here. If we have even eight laps or so on the stage, I don't really know. Might be seven, I'm not sure. Uh, seven laps, all right, so. That's one lap less of me gaining extra spots, so that sucks. But maybe we'll we'll be okay in those first five laps to not drop all the way to the 35th or whatever we were running before we spun out. Now we're finally getting past the wick. He just drove right through me, or behind me, I mean. And yeah, get hopefully in two more laps, that's when we'll start to see their tires degrade, and that's when we should start to gain back these spots. I would have hoped, I don't know, I'm just trying to be optimistic. On lap five, this is the magic point of the run. I think this is where we start to do something or gain on anyone. So right now, it's just been pretty much a roadblock to poor Chad Venture behind me. Car has been good enough to just hang on, but there's a lot of weird stuff going on in in the back. Somebody went down here. Somebody must have blown a tire or blew up because there are two cars very much off the pace. So I don't know something certainly happened. I don't know what, but it does seem like we're actually starting to gain back a little bit, so that's nice. And we'll crack in back in the 25th, so that's cool. And poor Austin Sindrick. Imagine being a five-star driver running in 24. That is some pure class, grade-A trash. Alright, we got by him for 24th. Th this goes green, like this last stage. Next, next stage. We might just kind of cheese a top 20. That's what I wanted in this race, or this part. And it's certainly a, a realistic, feasible thing to do. If it goes green. But look at this, we're going to get by Grawler, we're going to get by Grey Galding. It's nice to, to not suck. I mean, oh my god, Heat 3, if I was running these, like, rate, like these cars, like, number ratings, like, we would be last. We would have been last without question, so... The fact that that is not the case this year makes me want to cry a little bit, like almost tears of joy. We'll take 20 seconds. So we'll pit here, I don't know if we'll drop spots or anything down pit road, but we'll certainly find out. And damn, Noah Gregson is killing it to this uh, today, which is uh, interesting. So uh, four tires and fuel, and it should be a pretty... Uh, basically a one more stop from here i think i'm pretty sure it will either way if it does we'll definitely take four tires in the field just because it seems like it's gonna be split right in half and we amazingly gained a spot now the toughest part comes is uh trying to survive and not drop too far back in these next spot which is it's uh gonna be uh scary oh god somebody somebody died Oh, God! Dude, that was terrible! Well, oh, we're still going to be short on fuel, but I'm just going to pin anyway. It's just to get that tire advantage. I don't know who... I guess... I don't know. I guess Annette blew a tire, but that was a violent hit. Yeah, we're going to pin. Maybe we'll uh, gain something here by staying out. Or pitting. I don't know. We're back in 36, so... And we're going to have a bad restart for, for really no reason. Thanks game, I guess. I don't know. So somebody DNF'd, and that was Timmy Hill. I don't know when, when and what point, but 13 to go, and we're like four laps short, so yeah, we're not gonna make it on fuel by any means, but maybe we'll gain some spots before all the AI drivers pit. That's something I'm gonna try to do. Maybe I'll get some track position that way. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out, but it's worth the shot. I mean, it's worth the worth the gamble to see what we can do. So, I mean, we did gain some spots there. It took us almost a whole lap to kind of get back up to speed, but here we are. And it does seem like we are quick. Because we're off strategy. <laughs> we're off sequence. But though it did seem like we had at least a 24th place card, maybe a little bit higher. I don't know. But we'll see. I don't know when they'll pit. Should be in the next couple laps, I would imagine, because I was about seven laps on fuel or six before I pitted there, so we'll see. Yeah, up to 24th. This may actually be a net gain. If this goes green all the way and everybody pits and I'll pit like along with them, 
this might work. I, I'm dare I say it. This might have low-key been a genius call to get them dem track positions. I'm a genius. I can't even say the word because I'm that good. It's just it's completely worked in our favor to do that. We're already up to 18th, and this is not right by any stretch. But if this goes green and this plays out, oh my God, we're gonna. This is gonna be a beautiful day. So again, we're like three or four laps short. It's not really enough to make it, but these st guys definitely got to be pitting here next uh, couple of laps because I think they're about three laps on fuel before they pit, something like that. So it's only a matter of time, and I would maybe try to just take rights when we do pit. I'm not sure, because our lefts are not worn at all, so I might be able to get away with just taking right side tires and gaining that much more time. All right, they're all pitting. I'll do the same. A little bit of a last second decision there. But 55, try not to get anybody run me over. Perfect. So uh, right sides, full tank of fuel, and we're good. We'll be out of the way. 8.3 seconds stop just for rights, which sounds okay to me. And we not only cycled out in front of Tyler Reddick, but I don't think we're really going to win. It's all about just trying to get that extra track position. I think we'll play in our cards here, and I think we should have enough speed to at least hold on to finish better than 24th. So, <laughs> where we're running probably legitimately. So, this this may work. This this, this low key might work, and we did gain a lot on uh, Reddick just leaving pit road. That was beautiful. I know it's not gonna last, but that was nice for the moment. We have some cars leaving pit road, and I think we'll be in second here as Annette still has yet to pit. I think he pitted along with me. Tyler Reddick just absolutely zoomed by on the outside like I was standing still. Yeah, there he goes. Well, <laughs> GG. Holy crap, the speed he has. And there goes Cole Custer. Brendan Jones is low-key making a comeback. Started last, basically, and already up to fourth. Yeah, now we're going to get swarmed. Again, it's more about trying to... How is Brendan Jones... Brendan Brown, I can't. we have the first name. I messed up, but but yeah, it's um, so this is still gonna be a net gain. Still gonna be way better than 24. I think. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Mike legs out for ourselves one more time around. Tyler Reddick looks like he has this race under wraps, and we're still just barely hanging on to sixth place because Ryan Sieg is not quite caught up to me. It seems like. We're pretty good in the corners, but in straightaways he does gain on me, so that's kind of nice. But we're holding our own amazingly well. I thought I would drop back a lot further, but 6th place in that strategy call worked out beautifully. Whoever blew that tire and caused that yellow really saved our butts on trying to get a good finish. I think that was Michael Annette that did that, I don't know. But I'll try to look at the replay and see, but Noah Gregson just won. I'm, I'm a little bit sad by that. How did Tyler Reddick just lose to Noah Gregson? Must have been a hell of a finish, but that's just sad. Okay, so it was Michael Annette that spun, and Ryan C did drill him. So I'm amazed he even got a top 10. Oh my god, Cindric! Oh my, Arca Brick City, Mike Harmon! Oh my god, Annette is flipping at Auto Club. Good god! Just, I have to look at this again. The level of Arca breaking is just astronomical. Like, just 10 cars just, like, bulldozed him. And then he flips. Oh, my. Poor Michael Annette had a bad day. Well, Brendan Brown got fifth. That's a weird, weird, weird thing. So Noah Gregson passed Tyler Reddick in a last lap pass. And we managed to somehow get sixth and a top 10 finish. Christopher Bell 11th, though. That's weird. But there's a result. Justin Algar is 16th. Oh my. But yeah, um. Probably didn't deserve 6, but I'll gladly take it. It kind of worked out in our cards, so that's over 100,000 gained, I believe so. Yeah, 104. And with that finish, we're not going to really get stage points that we needed, but we, I believe we moved up to 18th in the standings or something. I don't know. But can we just take a note to mention that Justin Algar is in 15th and Brendan Jones is ahead of him? What reality is this? I don't know, but Greg Galding is fast too, so holy shit, this has been a weird, a weird season. And no repeat winners yet.
So the good thing with, you know, the amount we got and everything we gained, I think our car rating too should be pretty good. Because we didn't really tear anything up. I don't think we made any contact with anyone. Smooth driving. Alright, perfect. So for once, we're going to go into Texas with a max engine and suspension. So that's cool. And we get a... Uh, huh. Oh, we actually completed that. That's cool. So another 19,000. Hooray! And now we're almost halfway there to getting to what we need. And Chris, Chris Briscoe... Chris, what? Chase Briscoe has something to say. That's nice. Nice job today. Keep it up. That is the saddest video message I may have ever gotten. Great job. Like, no, I, I have to insult that because that, what, what kind of video message is that? What encouragement does that give me? Vinny Miller, I understand. I, I know, I'm going to compliment you. Is it pretty? I guess I did, John Hunter. I was kind of, kind of strategy, but greatness. Presence of greatness. It's nice. We're, no, we're not going fishing. Uh, nice driving. Oh, oh, Morgan, that's so, that's so wholesome. Josh Bilwicky, thank you. Brendan Brown. Hi, Race, thank you. That was, it's so nice. Chase Briscoe, you're starting to be on that Clay Greenfield levels of bad. Not, not quite, because I don't think it will, it'll, it'll ever be topped in this game, but, ooh, that is certainly the worst I've seen in the Xfinity series thus far. Well... I don't know what to expect with these. <laughs> I just don't see us getting anywhere. Like, I just don't see us getting a top 15. Maybe at Bristol? Because we did really well when I, when I did a three-star ride there, so maybe? I don't know. We'll get to we'll try to go for two t top 15s. I just belched. Why? I don't know. But we don't really have anything to worry about for uh, upgrades or anything. So it's just more of the same. Just throw those in and get our super... Speedway guy, something to do there. He's been work. He's been working on nothing. He's literally like Neil Breen and Double Down, just using a wrench, just kind of moving it around on a on a dish network satellite thing. Like that's basically what he's doing now. That's because he's he has nothing else to do. But I have to I have to put him on something so I can actually start the work. So I'm sorry. We'll go in Auto Club with 85, 80, and 85. We'll go into Texas with 85, 80, and 85. So I think. That should be good for ourselves. And yeah, 687. A little bit more than halfway through to getting the next thing. Chassis. Car. Whatever. Well, Texas pays out well, so maybe we can try to get a good finish and bring in some extra money. That would be nice. Off turn four. Our goal time, I think, is set to what I was running in Xfinity. I don't know, but certainly not close to what we need. That's 28th. A little bit better than Auto Club, so that's nice. But, yeah, I, I can't wait to get that arrow to 85 as well in the future because I think that will help that out a little bit just, just to get a little bit more balance in the car, arrow, I don't know. But it does seem like everything matters in this year with the upgrades, so you can definitely feel the difference between uh, the handling. And 26th, our sliders all the way to, to 8 clicks on the right. And, yeah. So, Noah Gregson. Guy crashed during qualifying. He probably it's probably because he threw up because he was so happy he won at Auto. And Elliot Taylor failed technical inspection. Well, that's nice. Well, we're 26 now. And well, I don't know how we'll do in the race. I think I think it's about the same length as Vegas. So it should be like 10 laps here, or nine laps. I don't know what it is exactly. 10 laps this stage. All right, so that's almost an entire field run for ourselves. And well. See how bad the tires fall off of them. I think it should be affecting them. It does seem like it always happens like right halfway through the fuel run. So since we started with 14 laps, right around like seven laps into the run, we should start to see that play into effect big time. So really, all we have to do now is just kind of hang on and try not to lose too much ground. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Turn four is extremely tricky. Tricky in this game this year. It's very. It just really likes to snap you. So. That's really the only corner I have to worry about. Other than that, I think we'll be fine in terms of just racing the track. There's not much to it, except for the AIs running the outside, but we already established that in the truck series being silly. Starting lap seven, uh, post editor, what if, can you at least uh, do like a speed through of the last couple laps? Because low key, it's been pretty fun. Uh, unbelievably, I'm just really focusing and trying to hit my marks and everything, but like I'm racing with a lot of people Gaining some spots here and there. I think I've lost some because Noah Gregson just threw 
just drove by everyone. I almost said threw up again, but that's, I don't know why that's not my line. Look at us, look at us do things. At 85 everything, this is almost what I expect with uh, that kind of car ring. It's like right around like mid-pack, 19th and 24th, and we're within that range that I thought to myself that we can accomplish. So that's nice. Now if we just had an uh, 85 arrow, we'd be a little bit better. So I, I feel like once we get to once we get like 90 everything, then I think that's when I make the change to put the tire where to normal for their self, for themselves and and go from it. I feel like that may be the best way to approach their AI tire where just to get the best balance. Because if I had on normal right now, I would be pretty much like 30th still. So that's why I don't know. I, I feel like this just helps it out a little bit. And also it gives me somebody to race with or somebody to try to pass. So that's nice. And we're 20th right now, and I think this is where we're going to end up in stage one, which, you know, I, I really can't complain. Or we're going to have Ray Black just kind of drop back to. No. Alright, well, maybe not 19th. Maybe or 20th or whatever we're running. The last lap in the stage went very smoothly. I'm just trying to keep it on the bottom, actually. The banking is so steep. Why is Mike Harmon 17? Whatever. Um, man, look at us go. Damn. I just wish we didn't have stages, because if we just let this play out, we could probably crack a top 15 before pit stops. But I'll gladly take 16. That was a very solid run. I came not, nothing to complain about. It was really good. And... We'll probably fall back once, you know, we pit and such, but this is, I mean, I couldn't ask for a more solid run there. It was, it was really good. Well, we stayed 16th. Austin Sindrick lost two spots, that's funny, but, but damn, yeah. Uh, Noah Gregson went from last again. Not last again, but went from last to... 12th, 13th, damn. So, 10 lap stage here as well. I think we're gonna probably drop back. I think that's kind of a given. So Mike Harmon low key is doing amazing today. I I don't know if the race thing ever showed to him like being quick this weekend, but uh, damn. What is this, 1997 for Mike Harmon? Like he, that's, that's like the last time I remember him running in the top five or top anywhere that's not top 15. I don't know. I, I, I'm i not clever enough to make a joke about it. Because I'm, I just don't know the lore of Mike Harmon in the past to make a very accurate judgment. Oh, Mike Harmon, no! He really wanted that spot! Good God! Oh, and he saved it! What a badass, but I'm sorry. I didn't think he wanted the spot that bad. Just if you... <laughs> Have you taken notes from everybody else that's been passing me on the outside to, I don't know, maybe just pass me on the outside? That's all I want. That's, that's all I ask out of you. I was really rooting for you, but now now he's going to beat my ass at Arby's. I can't even get that right. Applebee's. I, it started with an A. I was close. This is about the part of the run where we start to gain some of those spots we lost. And considering we did start, you know, 16th in this stage, we're definitely maybe able to potentially have a net gain in this one. I don't think so because the field is really spread out at this point, so I don't think that's going to happen, but we're still going to be in pretty good uh, position here. And Mike Harmon is still, despite me almost killing him, he's running right there with me. So good for him. Look at that. I gave him literally uh, probably a free position there because I passed Ray Black, and looks like he's going to take advantage of that, so no, no he's not. Okay, well, I tried. <laughs> I'll take 18th. I guess a caution came up because it was about like two to go or something. So, all right. Well, this last stage of the race is going to be a lot longer. In fact, with it being probably 29 to go, we might actually have to take two pit stops here. I don't think I can make it. I can, maybe I can make it on one one stop. It'll be close if it's fuel strategy. Either way, um, I think we'll be back in oh, 17. We did gain a spot, so. Yeah, I like these, you know, stages before. You gotta wait about five or six laps for the car to really start to kick in the gear, start to see what it's capable of, but for then, we're just gonna have to try to hang on and just hope. So, 28 to go, and that's 14 in the fuel. It was 14 when I hit when the stage began there, so 
We're still short, I think. If it goes green all the way, it's going to be very interesting and see how we uh, do on fuel. But at the moment, I mean, this has been a very solid race. I mean, running about where I expect to run. So, with everything I have, it's, 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 a, I mean, really, this is, like, just the ideal gaming experience for a NASCAR heat game to have, is for me to not just suck ass with the equipment I have, because in Heat 3, I would be crying right now, but it has not happened yet. It's about, like, five laps into the run here, and, man, it's just, we're just so slow. Poor Mike Harmon has not really understood the fact of how to pass me on the outside. And, yeah, a lot of them have been getting around me on the outside. And it's just been slow. It's just that I just can't do much about it. So, give it a couple more laps, and I think we'll start to see the, the tire work kick in for them. And we'll start to see us gaining back that lost time. But for now, just trying to hang on. There we go. We're starting to close back into uh, Stephen Light and this little group of cars up in front of me. So that's cool. Mike Harmon has dropped back, too. He actually, for a moment, was trying to pass me on the outside, but when he did, he lost a lot of time. But yeah, we're we're coming back. We're coming back. And I think, at this rate, we might be able to make it a one more stop. We don't have to pit twice. So that that's even more beautiful of our... There we go. We get by Stephen Light. Now we just need to put our sights on John Hunter. And Austin Sindrick, again, underperforming beyond comprehension. What a... What a sight. But, yeah, we're going to be able to probably crack the top 15 here. And I don't know when we'll pit in the next couple laps, but... And these next couple laps, we might be able to gain a bunch of time, so... To really take advantage of, like, this part of the run. And just gain as much, tr like, on-track time as possible before, you know, we pit and everything cycles through and kind of we suck for a little bit then. Now, this is where it gets really interesting, because we're going to be hitting zero right in the turn one or two. I'm not sure which, but we're going to be sputtering getting down there, and the thing that's really scary is when we're pitting, we're going to be dangerously close to making it. We're barely, if this goes green all the way. Now, we're sputtering right now, so I, mean, I tried to make the fuel last as much as I could there. That's why I stayed out. So, we're going to pit, get four tires and fuel, not skimp out on any of that. 45. That was 46. I think I screwed myself. God damn it. No, I did not. Oh my god. I, I was sweating. I was absolutely sweating. I thought I was screwed. Oh man, we dodged a bullet there. 15.8 seconds stop, not too bad. Actually, pretty good, all things considered. Now, because those other AI drivers. They pit a lap before me. They're not going to make it to the end. There's really... I just don't see them making it. So... What we did just now may just be... Not the winning call, but maybe a top five call. I don't know. But that's a lot of cars there. Good lord. Let me just keep it... Really? Like... Really? Is that what we're going to do? Well, I don't know why they're pinning if they just went down pit road. I mean, I don't really need to. Um... Oh my god. Caesar Baccarello. No, he's pitting. Well, I mean, I know I can make it on fuel, so I'm going to stay out and be a roadblock to everybody. Hooray. <laughs> Damn it, man. That was going to be very interesting if that played out. Because I think we would have made it on fuel, but barely. And it would have been interesting, but no. We can't have that. And now, we get to hold everybody up. So 10 to go. 13 in the fuel. We're fine on that. And now, well, I mean, um, well, I think, I don't know if we did last race or not, but I think we just led our first couple laps. Ever. So that's interesting, and I think we did it today as well. Under caution, I would imagine, but we did lead some laps. And now we're going to be a roadblock to poor Christopher Bell. Well, if they're going to get by me, they're going to have to do it on the outside. There you go, Custer. Custer's smart. See, he just he passed me on the outside like a human being would. And poor Christopher Bell is getting absolutely just <laughs> stunted of a, of a run. Just He just, just won't learn to go on the outside. I, that was, I, I, I fucked up. I got a bad angle in there and made contact. Well, I tried. 
So we got a couple more laps before the tires wear kicks in, so maybe we can get top 15. I don't think we would get that here. I thought maybe I'll get that more likely at Bristol, if anything, but I'm sorely mistaken. We're actually holding on very well. We're not dropping back like a complete rock. As I expected a lot worse, I guess. I don't know, but I'll, I'll live with 11th. I'm totally fine with that. We did pass Michael Annette, and he's dropped back tremendously, so I don't know what on earth has happened, but we, did we pass somebody else? I don't even know who. Ryan C, I guess. So now we're ninth. All right. <laughs> I really don't know how or why we have a run on Noah Gregson, but I'll take it. Seventh place. Damn, we just, like, low-key just outdrove Noah Gregson. I don't know if Josh Williams had anything to do with holding him up, but... Yeah, now we're, we're seventh. Now the tire, we're starting to kick in for them all, so now we're... Now we're having a, a breathing, fighting chance. So that that's cool, but... I don't know if we can get sixth. Or a top five even, but either... I mean, I'm happy either way. Like, I... <laughs> anymore, it's just an, an added bonus. I would like a top five if I can help. Oh my god. Wow, that... That car just did a lot of magical things there. And poor Brendan Jones, I don't know why he's trying to make the outside line work at Texas. I mean, it's not the same Texas anymore, Brendan. It's just it's just not going to work. Okay, he actually kind of was smart there and I drove the bottom lane. Oh my god, we can like legitimately get a top five. That may just seriously happen. Hmm. Well, Chase Briscoe basically dominated. I mean, he was fast. I mean, he just... Like, any conceivable way he lost the lead, he got it right back during this, like, when he... It seems like his picker tried screwing him over many times, but it wasn't enough. Well, here we go, white flag, and we passed Brennan Jones. Now we need to try to get by Bell for fifth. And he's just gonna... Just give it to me. Wow, I mean, thanks. I mean, he really just... Didn't even try. And this is why the outside line in 1 and 2 at Texas just simply does not work for them. Go through three and four. A little bit of apron touching there. It's not good. Thankfully, we maintain it. And, oh my god, we're going to get a top five. First one of the season. I'll take it. I don't care how I got it, but that's fine. Oh my god. I, I got no words. <laughs> I, I got no words. That just, that was beautiful. Chase Briscoe won that race by about 1.7 seconds. So yeah, he yeah he absolutely dominated. Jeremy Clemens got fourth. Greg Golding 11, and Justin Elgar again in the top 14, and is really being bad this season. And I don't know how many other people got lapped or what. Uh, no, they didn't. Everybody was on the lead lap. Well, holy crap. Well, considering we got top five, and that's a hell of a point today. That's almost 160,000 gained in that one, I think. 161. That's a, that's a hefty. That's very impressive. I, I'll, I'll gladly take it. Again, we're not really getting that those stage points or anything like that to really give us an extra like couple of points, but this is still really good. I don't know what the hell that was in the replay thing. What is that? That was that was weird. That was made me a little bit concerned how that race went because we certainly had like almost a top 15 car, but I don't know if that's just a Texas, Tex, a Texas exclusive thing with that or what. But man, we, I mean, we just got a bunch of like money stuff in this part. So I don't know if like once we get to like maybe just a simp like a simply 90 engine, that's when I'll switch it over to normal wear for, for the AI or what. I'm not sure, but. Well, Brendan Brown has something nice to say, I would imagine. Damn. I'm not one to really criticize a man's teeth, but holy crap. Holy crap, the teeth. He's just he's just all teeth. I know that feeling. So, we'll, we'll compliment him. But Joey Gase, thank you. Uh, Chad Fincham, thank you. Anybody else? Wow, another amazing race. I really hope. No, we're not. We're not going. No, 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 no. I want everybody super clean. See, that's how you do it, Brennan Jones. That's do what Michael Annette did there. You don't have to flirt with every time. I. We're not going, Ryan. I'm sorry. 
We're not going fishing. Uh, I thought we were friends. Why'd you... I didn't take... Bro, Ross, I think I might have tapped you, but I didn't take you out. Calm the fuck down. It's not the end of the world. Uh, yeah, we will. Josh Williams. Uh, Timmy Hill, thank you. Are we done? Yeah, I, I'd love to... No, full insult. But yeah, well, that'll do it for this part. That was a pretty damn good part. We gained... Uh, so we did surprisingly well. <laughs> like, maybe a little bit too well. I don't know. That's the thing, like... If I had a normal, like we wouldn't really have much of a ch like a chance to do anything. So I'm, I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think. I think you know once we get to, eh, Bristol and Richmond, it's gonna it may be a throwaway part. I don't know. I mean, we're not gonna have anything good in terms of equipment. So I don't know. Again, we did amazing. We did well. <laughs> we did well in a three star ride in a hot seat once. So maybe. Maybe we could do well. Richmond, I I don't think so. So Bristol may be an outlier. I don't know. But we're almost there to getting the upgrade. Um, How much further are we? 175,000 roughly. Roughly. So I don't think we'll get a next part. Because Bristol and Richmond don't pay out that well. So. Oh, why am I burping? I have nothing to drink yet in a couple minutes. All right, but yeah, that's uh, that'll do it. That was a good part. A big shout out to my tier three Patreon supporters: Adele Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and David Owner, Champ Fifteen, Alan Gray, More Sports Games, Robert Dill, NASCAR Number Site Dot Org, and Bailey Carrier for donation again. I can't say enough how much I appreciate you guys each and every single month for your continued support and all that good stuff. It just always means a lot, and I'm always appreciative and just super duper thankful for the support. I'll see you all for, I guess, a short track part for Bristol and Richmond. So um, we'll see what that mismatch penalty will hurt on the 79. So it's about the same as it was at ISM. And we didn't do astronomically bad at ISM. I think we got a top 20 finish. I think. I don't know. But I think with this part today, we just led our first couple of Xfinity laps. Hooray! <laughs> but yeah. Um, it's we still have a rival in the truck series, don't we? Or where's our? Is it just him? Oh my god! Clay Greenfield's still mad in the truck series. When will it end for him? He is such a grumpy pants. Make better videos. Oh my god, the parody. Oh my god, I can. There is so much I can do if I really want to. I can make so many parody like. NASCAR heat videos just ridiculing them. I could. Will I do it? Maybe. But either way, I will see you all in the next part, and I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.